welcome back to another video guys super exciting news as you can see behind me we have what we've been waiting for for a couple weeks now and that is a brand new Kubota L3901 it's about a 39 horsepower tractor it's going to help us out here on the farm but before we get into it as always make sure you like make sure you subscribe hit that thumbs up button we're going to get this off the trailer here and then we'll take a better look Alrighty guys, so we have both tractors set up side by side here. We're going to be going over some things that are quite a bit different from the old school to the new school. Now, if you don't know, this is a 1948 Ford 8 in around 25 horsepower. And now we have a 2020 Kubota L3901, which like I mentioned, is a 39 horsepower tractor. I think to the PTO, this is the gear drive model and we're pushing about 32 horsepower. We have a gas engine versus a diesel engine and as you know technology has come a long ways in its time. So let's look at this tractor, talk about some things that you have to do in order to start it, in order to work it and keep up and maintain it and talk about the simplicity versus the new Kubota. Alrighty so why did we get a new tractor with our land and with this new home? We really need something more dependable. Now the 48 8N does everything you need it to do it's got quite a bit of power for as old as it is. And if you don't know, we basically restored this. The engine was fine, it doesn't smoke, but all the wiring was original. It did have the 12 volt conversion and we gave this thing a fresh paint job. We rewired the entire tractor from front to back, which is not that much. All new headlights, all new tires. Basically, other than the engine, everything is new, all the seat covers and everything like that. And it does work very well. We do have a slight knock in the hydraulics. Eventually the pump will need to be rebuilt, but I can take that old brush hog I have, the box blade and everything else, and this will hold it up all day just fine. It will not leak down until I turn the machine off. So that is something that will have to be done. We're not getting rid of this tractor. It's just gonna be kind of put down a little bit. It's gonna be the new raking tractor. We have a hay wagon that we're gonna be building here pretty soon, so make sure you stay tuned for that. And it's gonna be doing that kind of stuff. Now some of the old features, like turning the gas on and off, having to block the clutch down so it does not stick in the colder months, are just getting to be a pain. And the biggest thing out of all of that is the PTO. We do not have live hydraulics, and we do not have a live PTO. So getting creative with the brush hog, lifting it, then connecting the PTO, then getting back on, and then getting it to all go is really a pain. Some of the stuff that we brush hog at the land and here is really thick, and I just need live PTO, I need live hydraulics, I need modern technology. Even though she will do it, and I've done it for a while now, it's time to move up. So the L3901 comes with the LA525 front end loader, which was a huge option that we needed, especially now because trying to use the Ford 8 in with a rear boom pole, getting stuff off the back of a trailer, whether it be the new sickle mower. If you didn't see that video, I'll link it up here, but we had a lot of trouble getting that thing off, getting it to balance right. And we were actually lifting the front end of the tractor. So it can get dangerous. This is going to resolve that issue. It's easy to pick something up with a bucket. We have a lot more control and a lot more areas to chain something to. Now with all of the new style tractors, you do have a diesel engine. We have four wheel drive. I did not want a four wheel drive necessarily, but it seems like all the tractors I looked at came with four wheel drive, but I guess it's a good thing to have. Another option we added to the front end loader was the quick detach bucket. We needed to add that so we can get any skid steer attachment like front end forks or to pick up round bales or anything of that nature. And the second thing is we went with the industrial tires. Kubotas have tiny little narrow ag tires from the start. I do not like them. They just don't look right. The 8 in, the tires are just so narrow, so small. We ran into a lot of issues. I've had a ton of flat tires. So I'm just kind of over it. Now coming here to the rear of the tractor, I really like the new technology with the rear three point system. Like I said, we have live hydraulics. We do have live power on the PTO, which is very important. We are gonna be hooking up a smaller baler to this. We're gonna be running the sickle mower on this thing and it's gonna work very well. Now this tractor does come standard with the draw bar. It comes standard with your top link and 
you can see that it has the turnbuckle style sway controls. We are getting that swapped out. Part of the deal was getting the pin style because those are gonna get dirt, they're gonna get grimy, and then they're in turn gonna be hard to adjust for whatever we may need. So we do have the pinned sliding version, if that's what you wanna call it. I may try to throw a picture up on here, but we are getting those upgraded here. They're just on back order. Small convenience features like a toolbox on the back, a cup holder on the side are really huge. Now we did look at John Deere and one thing I liked about the John Deere and is this, in addition to the cup holder and the glove box, they did have 12 volt power, which is really cool. I could really use it charging the phone while we're out here burning brush and doing different things, keeping your phone charged because I am always on it. Another thing I really like is we have metal fenders. None of the plastic stuff that you can drop, crack, and break. I'm really surprised that a lot of the newer, even bigger John Deere's all had the plastic fenders. So we got metal fenders here. It is plastic on the back, so we'll have to be careful. We have the ROPS, the rollover protection system, which is gonna make great angles for you guys. It's gonna give us some really cool shots, and you've already seen it as I was backing off the trailer there. Now the old 8N, it did great. It does have a toolbox, but I don't have it mounted. I've seen some people do a conversion and mount the toolbox on the side here, but I don't have it painted yet, and I've kind of just been slacking on it. So uh, it can have one, but it just doesn't right now. Coming to the back here, like I mentioned, we do not have live hydraulics or live power. What that means is that we have to have the clutch engaged and the PTO turning in order to lift anything. Secondly, you have to run the overrun coupler, which is the silver and yellow piece on the back of there. Because if you don't, a brush hog has so much momentum, it will directly push the tires, you'll go through a fence, you'll go into a pond, and it's no good. So you have to run an overrun coupler, overrun clutch, whatever you wanna call it. And lastly, you can see we have stabilizer bars in order to keep everything stationary, either one on each side, or like I do, I just run one, keep everything centered, but once again, it's one more thing that we have to put on. So overall, guys, I am pumped. I am super excited. We're not getting rid of the old 48. It's still gonna be working on the farm, doing a little different chores versus the main chores that we have coming next spring. We have the brand new tractor that's really gonna help us with all the lifting and the loading and the mowing. So super excited about that as well. We're gonna be changing all of the fluids and everything and the eight in to go. We have a huge winterization video coming soon with the camper, the tractor, the boat, Everything's got to be changed. We won't have to mess with this for about another year. Donkeys in the background. We have a huge fence that we're going to be building all the way out. So if anybody wants to see fence building, I don't really post about it. But if you want to see it and see some of the animals some more, we can definitely put that stuff on here. Just let me know down in the comments. But let me know what you think. Would you rather take the 8 in or would you rather take the new Kubota? Both of them serve a purpose. Both of them work great. Some are going to work better than others, so I can't wait to make more videos, take it out to the land, put some attachments on the back, get some food plots set up, and play with the new toy. So we're going to leave you there. Hopefully everybody liked the video. More to come. Make sure you like, make sure you subscribe, and we'll see you on the next one. Have a good day.